Hello and welcome to another complete Cambridge IGCSE chemistry lesson where you'll learn absolutely everything you need to know on topic 9.4 reactivity series. As always we'll be following the Cambridge syllabus exactly and we'll learn absolutely everything you need to know for your final exam. Please note I'm only posting around half the topics in the syllabus here on YouTube. The entire syllabus is going up on my Patreon, link below. Also the slides I use in my videos will eventually be available to download soon after I finish producing all the videos. Once done I'll Put a link to those in the description as well. The reactivity series of metals is a chart listing metals in order of decreasing reactivity. The order of the reactivity series is potassium, sodium, calcium, magnesium, aluminium, carbon, zinc, iron, hydrogen, copper, silver and gold. Note that carbon and hydrogen are non-metals but are included in the series because they are used to extract metals from their oxides. For more on the extraction of metals, see topic 9.6 coming soon. The reactivity series can be used to predict how different metals will react with water and dilute hydrochloric acid. Reactive metals react with cold water to produce a metal hydroxide and hydrogen gas. For example, potassium reacts with water to produce potassium hydroxide and hydrogen gas. The reactions occur with decreasing vigour moving down the series. Potassium and sodium react so vigorously that the hydrogen gas released often catches fire. The reaction of calcium with water is much less vigorous, so the hydrogen doesn't ignite. Less reactive metals like magnesium don't react with cold water but do react with steam to produce a metal oxide and hydrogen gas. The steam provides the additional activation energy needed in order for the less reactive metal to lose its outer electrons and form positive ions. Metals above hydrogen in the reactivity series react with dilute hydrochloric acid to produce a salt and hydrogen gas. For example, zinc reacts with hydrochloric acid to produce zinc chloride, which is a salt, and hydrogen gas. The reactions of metals with dilute acids occur with decreasing vigour moving down the series. Copper, silver and gold do not react with dilute acids because they are less reactive than hydrogen and therefore cannot displace the hydrogen from the acid. We can deduce an order of reactivity from a set of experimental results by observing and comparing the reactions of metals with water, dilute acids and oxygen. For example, if we observe that sodium burns brightly and vigorously in air, copper reacts slowly to form an oxide, and gold does not react with oxygen at all, we can deduce that sodium is the most reactive of the three metals, so should be placed at the top of the order, and that gold is the least reactive and should be placed at the bottom. Okay, that's everything you need to know for core, so we'll move on now to the extended section. A metal displacement reaction is a reaction in which a more reactive metal displaces or pushes out a less reactive metal from its compound when in aqueous solution. After a displacement reaction, the less reactive element is pure and uncombined. This occurs because the more reactive metal has a greater tendency to lose its outer electrons and form positive ions than the less reactive metal. For example, magnesium is more reactive than copper, so it loses electrons more readily than copper. Therefore, when magnesium metal is added to aqueous copper 2 sulfate, magnesium atoms lose electrons to form positive ions, which take their place in the compound. At the same time, the positive copper ions gain electrons to form neutral copper atoms. By referring to the reactivity series, we can predict the results of a displacement reaction. Elements higher up the list will displace those lower down because they have a greater tendency to lose electrons and form positive ions. Therefore, magnesium displaces zinc, iron, copper and silver from aqueous solutions of their salts. Iron displaces copper and gold but does not displace magnesium or zinc and gold does not displace magnesium, zinc, iron or copper because all these metals are above gold in the series. Finally, you need to explain the apparent unreactivity of aluminium in terms of its oxide layer. So aluminium appears to be far less reactive than its position in the reactivity series suggests. This is because aluminium reacts quickly with oxygen when exposed to air, forming a thin layer of aluminium oxide. This oxide layer prevents the underlying metal from coming into contact and reacting with substances like oxygen, water and dilute acids. 
Well done, you just covered absolutely everything you need to know on topic 9.4, Reactivity Series. If you benefited from this video, remember to subscribe to the channel and check out my Patreon where I'm uploading the entire chemistry syllabus. Join me there for our next lesson on topic 9.5, Corrosion of Metals.